To say it's been too long is an understatement, but Stranger Things Season 4 is right around the corner. What's going on guys? I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. I am so excited about this one because this is a video that's been a long time coming. We've all been speculating. When are we going to get the official release date for Stranger Things Season 4? Well, damn it, we finally got it today. But before I give you guys my speculation and thoughts on this release date and some theories I may have for the season, make sure to hit that like button, comment your thoughts or expectations for Season 4 down below, and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future Stranger Things videos. So at 10 a.m. Eastern time today, we actually started getting some very cryptic posts from the Twitter account of Stranger Things. So at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Stranger Things tweeted out 001, Russia, getting the band back together, bring a jacket, and it's the poster of Hopper, Joyce, and the Bald Eagle, and they're in that Russian prison that we see at the end of the post credit scene. 15 minutes later, Stranger Things tweeted out 002, the lab, every story starts somewhere, and it's a picture of Eleven in the lab. And at this point, we could kind of pick up the pattern. So at 003, they tweeted Creel House, TikTok. And this poster shows the same setting that we saw in that one teaser trailer that released on Tadum. And I think this is going to be the most interesting story. It's got Steve and Dustin, Lucas, Max, and others. And then at 10:45 a.m. Eastern Time, they tweeted 004, California, hold on to your butts, bro, chachos. And it's a poster of Mike and company in California. So our gang is spread out around the globe to say the least. And at this point, I was like, okay, I think we're going to get a trailer or an official release date or a poster at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and sure enough, we got an official poster. At 11 a.m., Stranger Things tweeted out, every ending has a beginning. Volume 1 is coming May 27th, Volume 2 is coming July 1st. And the poster is actually a combination of all the posters they cryptically released every 15 minutes. So this is massive because one, we got confirmation the show is coming out on May 27th, but it's such a big season that they're actually going to split it into two parts, and we're getting Part 2 on July 1st. I can tell you right now, the gap between Volumes 1 and 2 is going to be a brutal and gruesome stretch of time, but it will fly by because it is summer, and we'll have Obi-Wan Kenobi and other shows to pass the time. I absolutely love this poster as well. Season four, you've got the four quadrants with our four different groups of characters spread out around the globe. But the thing is, this isn't even the craziest piece of news that we got today. The Duffer Brothers actually put out a statement on Twitter, and I'll go ahead and read and break down this letter. It says, hi, nerds. Do you copy? It's been a little while. With nine scripts, over 800 pages, almost two years of filming, thousands of visual effects shots, and a runtime nearly twice the length of any previous season, Stranger Things 4 was the most challenging season yet, but also the most rewarding one. Everyone involved is incredibly proud of the results, and we can't wait to share it with you. So I'm going to pause right here and say, that's insane. Nine scripts, 800 pages, almost two years of filming, almost twice the length of every previous season. That means this could be 20 episodes, and we could literally get 10 in Volume 1 and 10 in Volume 2. Seasons 1 and 3 of Stranger Things are both 8 episodes long, and Season 2 is 9 episodes long. So I'm thinking this is going to be like 8 and 8, or 9 and 9, and we're going to get Volume 1 have 8, and then Volume 2 have 8, which would in fact be double the length of the previous seasons. And it's no secret this is definitely Netflix's biggest project that brings in the most views and most money, so it wouldn't be a surprise that they're getting double or triple the budget in this season and going bigger and better to really end with a bang. But the news doesn't stop here. So the letter goes on to say, given the unprecedented length and to get it to you as soon as possible, Season 4 will be released in two volumes. Volume 1 will release on May 27th, with Volume 2 releasing five weeks later on July 1st. So that's the good news. It's coming soon, and it's bigger than ever. It's also the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end has me thinking Avengers Endgame, Game of Thrones Season 8, all good things come to an end. Seven years ago, we planned out the complete story arc for Stranger Things. At the time, we predicted the story would last four to five seasons. It proved too large to tell in four, but as you'll soon see for yourselves, we are now hurtling towards our finale. Season four will be the penultimate season. Season five will be the last. So perhaps the biggest bombshell from this entire Stranger Things news is the fact that the final season of Stranger Things is coming with season five, meaning this year is the penultimate season of Stranger Things. They're breaking it into two parts. It's going to be extra long, but we only have one more season of Stranger Things after this. Now, this news excites me because I think TV shows always fall victim to overextending their stay, and I would hate to see that happen with Stranger Things. I love when shows know when to end, and yes, they can make 10 seasons of Stranger Things and make billions of dollars, but I would love for them to just end it properly with a fitting story, and it sounds like that's what the plan is. And I'm calling it right now, season five of Stranger Things is going to be a bigger event than Game of Thrones because the amount of hype going into it will be bigger because Game of Thrones is a little more polarizing with its age. Everyone and their mother watches Stranger Things. It's more family friendly. Game of Thrones, obviously, more that hard R rating. This, of course, is more family friendly, and everyone kind of knows about Stranger Things. Plus, it does cater to more of a younger audience. I think the entire globe is going to be talking about Stranger Things Season 5 when it rolls around in like 2025. That's the major L is that we're going to have to wait like two to three years after this, but at least we're getting fed good this year with two seasons pretty much. The letter goes on to conclude by saying, there are still many more exciting stories to tell within the world of Stranger Things. New mysteries, new adventures, new unexpected heroes. But first, we hope that you stay with us as we finish this tale of a powerful girl named Eleven and her 
brave friends, of a broken police chief and a ferocious mom, of a small town called Hawkins, and an alternate dimension known only as the Upside Down. As always, we are grateful for your patience and support. Over and out, Matt and Ross. I really liked that the Duffer Brothers put out this letter. It reassured us that we are going to be fed as Stranger Things fans, but it also showed their appreciation for the fans as well as the care and love that they really have for the show while teasing the future because yes, it said we're going to finish this story of Stranger Things with Eleven and all of her friends, but I think this could be setting up the future as Stranger Things is such a massive IP and brand that I could definitely see Netflix wanting to do a spin-off show based on some other characters. Now, fingers crossed they don't follow the route of Season 2, Episode 7 with that terrible character group. That's by far the worst episode of the show to date, so I hope they kind of scratch that, but I would love to see them explore something in this universe because I feel like there is so much story to tell like they kind of hint at here. We finally got a release date for Stranger Things Season 4. It's going to be the penultimate season. We got a very cool poster, and Stranger Things loves to be cryptic on Twitter. I think that Season 4 is going to end with a massive cliffhanger. It's really going to leave us on edge for two to three years. I hope the turnaround's a little bit quicker after Season 4, but again, I can't complain because we're finally getting that next season this year. But what are your guys' expectations or thoughts for Stranger Things Season 4 and 5? Let me know in the comments down below. How excited are you about this news? When do you think we're going to get a trailer? That's probably the biggest question. I really hope we get one by like the end of March at least, kind of get us really hyped as we head into May. And I just realized Obi-Wan Kenobi comes out May 25th, and Stranger Things 4 comes out May 27th. We are going to be eating this summer. It is the biggest year for content ever, and I'm all here for it. I'm gonna be covering it all along the way. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button again. Comment your speculations or theories down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future coverage of Stranger Things and all this great movie content we're getting this year. I have a Patreon link down below where you can get more content and get to know me on a better level down there. It's also a way to help support the channel. But thank you guys again for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.